We've had a lot of questions lately come up from various shops, different paint companies, wanting to know more again about HVLP equipment. The trend had recently, of course, been to use a gun that's not HVLP, more on the compliance side, or as we call it, reduced pressure or RP. But I want to answer a couple questions about that we've had about HVLP and how they work. Uh, people trying to maybe get the most transfer efficiency possible, save some product consumption, uh, different questions like that. But there's some things you need to know about HVLP when you're going to choose that. Number one, HVLP for SADA has always had either a green band on the air cap or they've been a green body so that you can see by looking at them that they're HVLP. HVLP stands for high volume, low pressure which means air volume is higher than it uses. So you need to have a compressor that can maintain a constant pressure. In this case, max pressure is 29, and at 29 pounds, that would use 15 CFM. So you're gonna need a compressor that can generate that kind of air volume, so you need to know that. Other things you need to know is using high volume fittings can certainly help, and not just on HVLP, but on your other equipment. But particularly on HVLP, using a high volume fitting that has a large opening in it will help the air volume that the gun needs to get through it without having to have a lot of velocity. So if you have too small of a hole, the smaller hole means to get the volume that that gun needs, it has to go through this fitting much faster. And when you run the velocity up and you start getting the velocity too high going through your spray gun, you can see a change in the way it sprays. You can feel maybe a, a back pressure coming on the trigger when you pull it. Um, you'll see where it can shoot some little bands through the air cap where it's blowing air through this air cap. You may see where it blows little streams through your paint of air that give you uh, a variety of different looks. So you can see little fingers of paint coming off of it, give you some color issues that you don't, that you don't uh, want have happen while you're spraying. So HVLP, again, high volume, low pressure, can give you uh, incredible transfer efficiency, but it can give you very, very good um, paint look in color. Um, but even on clear coat, we can see where people may want to spray with HVLP to save more product. You'll have less overspray. But HVLP tends to like to be sprayed at a closer distance to the panel. So instead of starting, if you like to spray at seven or eight inches with a high pr higher pressure or an RP, in that five to six inch range is going to be normally where you would spray. Um, when you pull that trigger for doing a test pattern before you have a cup on it or anything, pull that trigger and you'll feel where when you move your hand in, you're going to feel an area where it almost feels like a knife edge of air, where that atomization energy hits. That's where you want to paint, so it's an easy check. Move your hand off the, away from the gun at 8 to 10 inches and just move in, and you're going to hit in that 5 inch range. You're going to see a really uh, a, a feel, a really stronger burst of air, and that's where you want to be when you're painting with HVLP equipment. The other thing is, You'll notice on this, we've got a, a gauge on a location on the back called an atom dock. We could take these atom gauges and plug it onto the back. You need to know where your air pressure is. At the wall is where we would recommend setting your air pressure down close to where you're going to paint. So if I'm going to spray at 26 pounds on this gun, I may pull the trigger adjust my air pressure till I'm down at about 29 here, and then I'll just use these little wings that are on this to adjust it down the last three PSI. So I may decide I want 26, I'm gonna adjust it to 26 using the adjustment valves here. But in this gun, there's a air micrometer that goes inside that has a hole that faces your air passages. That air passage needs to be as open as possible so that you get full volume through that gun. So again, adjust at the wall, Micro adjustments here, two or three PSI, will definitely let you uh, make fine adjustments and not change the way a gun performs. Now if you don't have a digital gauge and you just have a regular knob on the back of your spray gun, we have a couple other options. We have the standard 27771 gauge, which just goes on the back. And this 27771 gauge is, has been around with us for a long time but it's high, very high flow air through it. So if I have this knob on the side adjusted to fully open, it will allow 20 CFM through this. The gun only needs 15, so there's adequate air volume through this. So again, set that wide open, adjust your pressure at the wall to just a few PSI over what you're gonna paint with, and then just make those small micro adjustments using this. If you don't wanna have a, a gauge that can restrict air at all, we have these flow through gauges. And these flow through gauges are nice because this flow through gauge lets the high volume of air coming from your wall go right through the spray gun, 
go right through into the gun and you just have a gauge so at least you can see at the gun where you're at. The part number on this one is a 43786. Been in our system for a long time, uh, available through any of our authorized distributors. So with HVLP, if I'm spraying with a fast clear, all the way down in that 20 to 22 pound range, um, when you're using a higher solids clear that's a little slower, you may be up in that 24 all the way up to 29 PSI. It depends on your temperature. The hotter the temperature is typically the lower air pressure you need. Again, HVLP will give you a real high transfer efficiency, less overspray, uh, great color control, which is what most people use HVLP for is for their color because you're not blowing metallics all the way down the panel, doing small blends, repair work. You can keep that overspray to a minimum. We're seeing more people start to use these again and they get very good results. Now with HVLP, compared to using an RP technology gun, which is our blue ones, that are a little higher pressure, um, if I put 29 in this, it lowers the air down to about 20 to 22 pounds. So we get a, a reduction in pressure or, or a reduced pressure with the, with the high pressure gun. Your gun speed's gonna be a little faster with the RP. The HVLP is gonna be slightly slower hand speed, but again, much better transfer efficiency, good color control. Um, so you have both options that you can use. Appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please click like, make sure you subscribe, uh, click that subscribe button, and we'll uh, see you on the next video.